Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero here with another Commander Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. That's right, we have another game here for you today. Uh, I'm live here from uh, Torment Arena, and of course, stay tuned to my channel. Something special coming out, of course. Oh, it's going to be good. I put a lot of work in this one here. Can't wait for that to come out. Some people already know what it is because I gave a hint in Kimisabi's stream. And of course, uh, I've been uh, dropping a few bits and pieces. Here's one other VODs, but we're going to get to this video here. Uh, meanwhile, there is a tournament next weekend. Uh, Bike Rush has, is holding an independent tournament, so it's held solely by him. It is a cash prize. Don't forget to sign up. We've got uh, basically a full tournament at the moment, but I'm sure you'll be, be able to get on the reserve list and play if you want to. But we're going to jump into this game. We have D and Gareth28 Turbok. Now, D is obviously Dirty Dutch with one of his, like, 100,000 names or whatever. It's the same name, but he just modifies it slightly. And uh, Gareth has actually unleashed UA, so it's unleashed and Dirty Dutch, and Marsleep is watching this game, so Marsleep may be uh, looking for some pointers from Unleashed. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so mad. <laughs> he is so mad. Anyway, let's have a look and see who we have over here, so I didn't even check the colors, so it's going to be Unleashed UA. He's playing as a GDI faction. I'm not quite sure what GDI faction he is going to be. He's going to have to draft some scouts for us, so he's GDI Vanilla and Filthy, Dirty, Disgusting Dutch. It's going to be Nod Vanilla, so Nod versus GDI. Classic matchup, Tormund Arena, big flat map. Would uh, would definitely be looking towards uh, the GDI player for, for looking towards an armor fight here, where the Nod player will probably be looking towards either you know some kind of rush like normal, and uh, probably something to do with tech, maybe a base push. It's always good for that. Uh, but Dutch has a, quite a few scouts going down the center now. They don't know what factions they are, so they're going to come across the scouts now. It's three militant versus two rifle, and I think Dutch should be able to win this one. Yeah, he is going to win. But look at that only snipes the left-hand side squad, or the right-hand side squad, sorry, and he just backs off. And he's got another squad here, so it's very well done. He's actually going to win this fight. He's going to lose one rifleman squad, which he's already lost, but Dutch is going to lose all three. He's not even going to get one. Yeah, look at this militants. Once there's too many rifles there, it's just, yeah completely ruffle stomp those militants. Even though there's nine in a squad, the Rifleman squad are just, uh, they have training. So basically that's how the law fits there. They're training, they got uh, a little bit of body armor and of course better weapons and, uh, and things like that. So they're gonna split up. They're all a little, all a bit like a split up here. Sometimes half the squad will get suppressed and leave the other half a squad behind, but they always catch up. They always do. And we have a flame rush coming out here from Filthy Dutch. Uh, Unleash is gonna see it. There's gonna be nothing to stop him. There's no shredder turret. He's gonna see the the operation center here. He's gonna see the wharf actually, so he's gonna be having a look to see what's coming out first. And it is going to be a reckoner, and he sells the operation center. And he actually gets a scout out of there, which is really important. So it's gonna be a double reckoner. Uh, sorry, no, a double uh, operation center reckoner. Uh, the strategy that, Unleash, that Masterly claimed was unstoppable and then it got stopped endlessly. So I'm not sure what his deal is with that because it's not re it's really not that powerful. I mean, one pitfall and it's basically, that's over. I mean, if it gets to your base, yeah, it can do a lot of damage, but I just don't see the, the, the focus on it being so powerful. There's actually a Shatter tank coming out here. Oh man, if he hits it, oh geez, Dutch almost reverse moved into it. There is a Predator tank out now. He was, uh, obviously, Unleash is going for an airfield, but he's abandoned the air tech. At the moment, he's got the airfield. This is really weird. I'm not sure what Unleashed is actually doing here, but uh, we weren't paying attention. Upgrade the power plant. He's got the comm center, and he's got the airfield. He's going for Predator tanks. He's got a Shatterer tank out, and he's only got two harvesters. So, wow, really interesting here. He's obviously really heavily committing to this kind of kind of push where, where Dutch just has the Reckoner, and it is going to continue to drive around. Uh, Dutch does have four harvesters to two refineries, so his economy is superior. His army is not really where it needs to be con compared to what uh, Unleashed has. Is he going for hammerheads? Wow, if he goes for hammerheads, that's going to be pretty uh, pretty gutsy. Meanwhile, the Predator tanks are moving around. He's going to see this, uh, but Dutch isn't going to go in. He obviously realizes he might be uh, might be spotted. Drops off one of the uh, the flame units there and starts to flame that down. He could take the bunker because a hammerhead is going to respond, and he's going to start losing this black hand squad. He goes for the bunker now, but not before he loses three members of that squad. I believe he must have lost at least three members of that squad. So that's not good for him. Battle market down there is just Unleashed chipping away. That Reckoner is still alive, backing off to the right-hand side here. And the Hammerhead's going to give that up. The uh, the bunker has too much health for it. It's going to come back here, and it's going to put a Rocket Squad inside. There's a Rocket Squad, so he's got two Rocket Heads. Salt sells off the Operation Center. The Shadow Tank is just chilling at home. Random units everywhere from Unleashed. This is pretty crazy. He's still got that Reckoner. And yeah, he's like, no, nope, don't think so. Those rockets, not going to have a bar of that. That Predator tank needs to get out of there. It is going to. So, wow, really weird opening here from Unleashed. And uh, Dutch is just responding by just, yeah, he's going straight for, for both his upgrades with the infantry here. Let's see. He should have gone for Tib Infusion first. It's always the better one to get, I reckon, just because, it, yeah, he's running over the Tiberium. So, it's always the better one to get. Not sure what the Hammerheads are doing. The Hammerheads are trying to save this spike, and they will actually do so. 
Uh, so he's got two Hamids. Now, selling off the Com Center obviously is a problem because he can't get AP ammo. He's got a Shatterer tank, and he's got three and two up now, which is not too good. Dutch is actually going to push with this attack, and he's going to have Tiberium Infusion done as well. He's got a decent amount of infantry there. The Reckoner is still here. One flame unit. He can just rush that in, deploy it, and then put some rockets inside it as well as having the Black Hand. But he wants to have all his infantry together. Dutch has split up. He's got, like, infantry up here, infantry down here. Tib Infusion is done. He's going to keep a hold of the Shrine. He'll probably sell it off shortly, I'd imagine. But Dutch is actually pushing forward, and it's going to be half and half. This is not a good idea. Half of his infantry is left behind. I'm not sure why Dutch is continuing to push there. The Shadow Tank is by the War Factory. The Hammerheads are kiting, and oh man, Dow Orca Strike. Dow Orca Strike. Wow, Dutch got smashed there. I'm not sure why he waited, uh, why he, he split his forces up there. He should have waited until he had everything, but no, he really wanted to get in there. And it's going to be rock, Rifleman Squads, which is a bad idea from Unleashed because the hallucinogenic grenades will render them useless. It'll actually uh, force his units to attack them, and it'll it'll just draw fire like all hell. Um, the uh, the Reckoner is here, but it's outside of the range of that, that tower there, so that's unfortunate for him. These Hammerheads are still alive, just cutting around, and Unleashed is doing an amazing job of this. Uh, filthy Dirty Dutch, yeah, I, again, I got a question that the fact that he didn't try to move in with all of his groups together. He, he split himself up and allowed Unleashed to just really smash the first group. The Shadow Tank is not moving from its position though. A Shadow Tank not moving from its position. This Reckoner doesn't appear to be even firing. He might have had it on hold ground, hold fire stance. Now it's opening fire. Wow, if he had that on hold ground stance, that would have been killer. Meanwhile, the Hammerheads are over here. They're not really doing too much actually. So we'll jump back over here. The Reckoner is probably gonna go down momentarily. He should be able to clean up the rest of these Rocket Squads. There's no Cabals left, so that's gonna be fine. And he should be able to pop this I'm not sure what these hammerheads are up to. They they got scared away. Sells a shrine now. So yeah, uh, nice work there from Unleashed to hold that. He does bail out the infantry right at the very last second, but there's APCs, there's towers, and those infantry squads. The black hand will suck up that gun damage, but ultimately there's too much there, and uh, he's going to be able to get away. That's still, that's still that one shadow tank from the start is still alive. Unleashed does not have too much. He's only got three harvesters, so he's really cutting it slim though. He's actually counter tanking. He's, he's somehow these two predator tanks are still alive and across the side of the map here. A lot of buggies here, and of course the Predator tanks don't even care about those buggies because they can't do anything to them. The Hammerheads, nice control, mind you, from Unleashed to not let them really take uh, much damage, if any at all. Meanwhile, one Predator tank still survives down here. APCs are here, there's a Shatterer tank. That's going to be problematic because it does so much cannon-type damage uh, to these units here. Plus, it will instantly one-shot the, the infantry, but it does go down. It goes down pretty quickly, and uh, there is a Foxhole back here. could do some damage. The APCs, one of them does have Rifleman squads in it. The other one is about to go down. Minefields are down here as well. That one Predator tank is still alive, managing to get more kills. Finally goes down. Heroic Rocket Squad there. That's not good at all. And uh, the Rifleman Squad actually shooting at a buggy. Probably want to shoot at the Heroic Rocket Squad there, but uh, the Foxhole is going to go down. Going to be able to clear those mines up. So Dutch holds that now. So he held the counterattack, probably not as well as his his attack went, but uh, Unleash kept him busy. And let's see what Unleash has done while this has happened. Still three harvesters. Wow, he's still got three harvesters. Hammerheads, who have not been able to get any repairs, are actually still in pretty good health. This one here is in the red, but it's at about 40%, which is okay. APM on the way, so he does have a comm center up, but uh, Unleashed really cutting it fine for economy here. Dutch has cleared out his, his main field. Unleashed has almost cleared out his main field, but Dutch only has one refinery here, so I guess that's holding him back. A second refinery just comes down, so he's going to counterattack now. He's got a handful of infantry, but to be honest, I think Unleashed might want to wait for APM. Now it's too far away. It's quite a way away. He didn't have these guys on an attack move, so Unleashed is able to, to clean them up a little bit here, and this line formation is allowing Unleashed to just move in and just kill small pockets of infantry, which is excellent for him. That is excellent. He does lose one APC. The Rifleman Squad gets out. He gets the Rifleman Squad out of the other one. Again, how effective are the Rifleman Squad going to be? Because uh, there's actually no hallucinogenic grenades here. There's a Cabal over here. A few Predator Tanks rolling through, trying to get a crush off, but these units getting cleaned up. The Hammerheads now are responding, and that's going to be the end of this here. And this is what you want to do as GDR. You want to clean up pockets of infantry here. You don't want to get them to get like to get critical mass. And, and Dutch, I think, is positioning probably not the greatest here. A few Predator tanks. So Unleash is doing a good job of staying kind of on the offensive, just keeping Dutch back at his base. Say, hey, look, I'm going to keep throwing units at you. You know, you're going to have to stay back here and try to defend it. Uh, meanwhile, Hammerheads are fighting buggies. Not the best idea. One Hammerhead goes down. The other Hammerhead will escape now, but all those buggies get completely destroyed. There's uh, militant squads here. The Rifleman squads should be able to do some damage, but once the hallucinogenic grenades come out, elite Rifleman squad, but here come the hallucinogenic grenades, and that's going to be the end of them. They will actually finish off those uh, squads there, but they're probably going to go down to these guys. There's one unit left in that squad, probably going to get over on these Predator tanks, just chilling down here, Unleashed Momentary, forgotten about them. Two ref, he's got double ref on his expansion now, which is great. He's got AP ammo, so he has recovered somewhat. Prime for a one-click if we get that far. We'll have to see what Dutch is going to do. Dutch is, is definitely uh, definitely one for the clicks. But he did actually expand to the blue field, so a long way from clicks. 
Couldn't imagine that coming down anytime soon. Unleash will probably have a majority of that field before they do come into play. But again, really focusing on the infantry here. Unleash does have AP ammo. He's probably going to want to get more hammerheads out. I don't think, I mean, spamming APCs is okay. Uh, but you've got to think about the size of that. If it's a big map, yeah, spamming APCs probably be okay. But if, if Dutch decides to go for a base push, all of a sudden APCs are going to be pretty useless against Obelisk and building blocks, you know. I'm not sure how well that's going to go down from. He can build them at this stage of the game. It's going to be fine. Unleashed did lose his spike. He's going to put uh, a rifle squad inside this uh, bunker here, I think. No, he's actually going to go around. No, he just leaves him there. So again, definitely a good idea to, to keep um, keep the area locked down and just, just cause a delaying problems here for Dutch. And now Unleashed has some units moving across here, but they are pretty spread out. There's that one hammerhead back here. There's going to be an engagement though, but it's, it's a really spread out engagement. Very long formation. That's definitely going to favor Dutch here because his infantry is spread out and they're just going to be better than what Unleashed has right now. They will even chase down the last of these Rathman squads. Battle marker is down here. There's a few APCs. They probably need to kill those infantry units, and they will do so. Uh, meanwhile, Unleashed in a little bit of trouble. He needs to start building blocking. He needs to get some APC, uh, some some barracks up. Sorry, uh, but yeah, these these towers again. People do this so often. They place the towers right where the enemy can just one shot them down. He needs to put them behind the buildings or put them back where there's already uh, established towers here. But yeah, they're going down way too quickly. And I mean, you can't even use the cell tactic here because they will be used against you. There is a beacon there, which means uh, an airstrike is coming in. But look at that. Dutch actually pulls. Back Back. doesn't pull them back all the way and uh, again some of them get hit battle mark is raging meanwhile there is some ngapc oh my god he's gonna get an ngapc on this he's got two engineers oh my god dutch dutch he lost oh my god he just lost his blue expansion he lost his blue expansion meanwhile this attack is continuing to go on battle markers down here so those abc's getting cleaned up so there's a lot happening now it's really split up and spread out harvesters are going down by unleash but he is probably going to hold the line here ultimately he does have this area he doesn't have a harvester down there so he can't actually take that blue tip but he, he really just cut Dutch off. Dutch is stuck, I believe, at tier 1. These infantry units are going to go down. He even puts down a Nod power plant. So, <laughs> there you go. He's like, hey, I got a Nod power plant and Shredder turrets. Uh, to be honest, the uh, the towers with their APM are going to be superior to the Shredder turrets anyway. Uh, he does sell this off. He's trying to run the engineer back. He sells that off as well. So, he's not going to be able to hold this area. I mean, he could have put uh, a barracks down and just clambered up these, uh, these bunkers with lots of rocket squads and just been a pain and uh, maybe try to defend there. But, uh, yeah, the engineer actually gets killed. Uh, he couldn't get away. There's only uh, Rathman Swords there. No point even trying to really dig those out. It's just really uh, eyes there for Unleash. But wow, Dutch is... Uh, my G, uh, it's my G. He does have Tier 2. So he does have Tier 2. So he's not totally at Tier 1. And he does have a double War Factory. He's got Dozer Blades for his Scorpions. But oh, he just sold the Tier 2. So he's a Tier 1 Nod player now with no MCV. And Unleashed UA is in a good position. Yeah, his Harvest has got shredded pretty badly. He's got Triple Ref here. He's actually taking Blue Tiberium which is excellent, that is superb, could get repairs on the hammerheads, and he is going for a lot of hammerheads now, even harvesting that up there, he's got some random Pred APC, he's got hammerheads, he is looking pretty good, these Scorpion tanks, I mean, everything that Unleash has right now, really hard counter Scorpion tanks, and uh, yeah, he's just going to come, he's even got these hammerheads garrisoned with whatever he can get in them, uh, rockets and, uh, and rifles, just to do extra damage, and look at this, just focusing down tanks, every tank kill, it's just going to hurt Dutch, and he's going to have to get something out. And I mean, I don't think he can do buggies, just because the hammerheads, when they see buggies, they're just going to run and let the Predator tanks do the work, and it's it's not going to end well. We have uh, two Predator tanks actually taking our power plants. Remember, Dutch cannot replace these power plants, so if he loses power, he just gets into a worse situation here. So Unleash doing a, doing a pretty good job at this stage of the game. Uh, some of these hammerheads are rifles in them. Another rifle squad getting loaded up. We have some buggies down here, so he needs to move down his Predator tanks, which he will be doing so. Uh, the Predator tanks here are actually getting recalled back to base, so I think they should have kept them there. He's obviously uh, selected all unit types or something like that. There is going to be a pretty big engagement here, so these guys are going to come into this base. Dutch is going to try to make it work. we got a beacon as well, so it's going to be Orca Strike. Orca Strike comes in, uh, actually kind of kind of sort of misses, but uh, my, uh, <laughs> mind you, uh, Touch, I don't think he's going to be able to get through here. Oh wow, there's Shatter tanks coming out now as well. And Dutch is in a world of pain. Look at those Shatter shots doing so much damage. The Shatter tank does go down, but the damage is really done here. And I think Dutch is not going to be able to get into this field. No, it's definitely not going to work out for him. It is not going to work out for him. So he's going to be able to, he's going to be forced back. The Hammerheads are still all alive here. And uh, now they're going to actually pursue the buggies. They don't even care. They're just going to destroy the buggies on the way out. There's so much AP ammo strength here. And buggies, I mean, a lot of people will try to do this to counter, to counter hammerheads. It does work on situation, in a lot of situations, but or some situations. It's more of a soft counter, but you're just counting on the other guy not running. Unleashed has so much stuff here. And, of course, with building all these buggies, there's just less tanks. 
There's less tanks, and now Unleash is like, well, you know what? Predators are better than Scorpions. Uh, not in a good position. He's just moving down here, which he needs to kind of form up and engage. He's got a Shadow Tank there as well. Could be doing some serious damage. On a move order, gets a shot off now. Goes straight through those units. But Dutch, that's the first target. He's like, there's a Shadow Tank there. That is the first target. We see another one coming in now. Could get some good hits off, but the Hammerheads are back. And Dutch is in all sorts of trouble here now. There's another decent sized engagement here as the hammerheads come across. The buggies are trying to chase them, try to move across the face of this battle and chase them, but it's not going to work out too well. And he will be destroying these uh, these scorpion tanks here. So unleashed, very spread out, very heavily damaged. But Dutch really does not have much left in the tank. He's going to be leeching soon. We can see the blue tip is gone for both sides. So that both sides have been leeching blue tip in order to fund this engagement. But it is definitely pretty tight. Grab myself a quick drink there. It is very hot here, mind you, in uh, in Australia. We're in the, the 35 plus degree parts of the year. So that's Celsius, mind you. So mind you, mind me. But Dutch has held that off. So he has held that off. What has Unleashed got left? He's got, he, he's kept his hammerheads alive. Might, uh, although he hasn't actually built any more hammerheads. I would have thought he built some more. He's actually teched up to Juggernauts. Not really sure if this is necessary, to be honest because it is a ground armor fight, and these Juggernauts are more for base pushing or sieging. And uh, he doesn't have the units to defend them. So these Juggernauts all of a sudden are going to come up against this, and Dutch pulls back, deciding, no, I don't want to go in there just yet. The buggies aren't really going to be able to do anything, especially with repairs on the wall factories. The Scorpion tanks are going to have to kill them. There's only five Scorps there. And we have uh, units attacking over here. The Hammerheads are just picking off more units now. And Dutch is getting picked apart. He can't continue to fight this, I think. He's going to have to go for a uh, an MCV if he wants to win. Because the Hammerhead, they can just run. And he's just running him around in circles. He's trying to trap him to the top of the map. But look at this Unleashed. It's going to find a gap. Hammerheads are just simply faster than the buggies. And they can shoot. Yeah, look at that. Shooting. They've got better range by the, by the looks of things as well. So they will be able to shoot them. And yeah, he does pull back. So Unleashed, let's get, have a look what he's got. He built a Mammoth tank. Now, the reason I think he built it, he's actually going for rail guns far out. So he's going to have uh, some Predator. He's got a Predator tank. So the one Mammoth tank is just for a massive meat shield. And of course, it's just death to anything that goes near it. Uh, excluding infantry, you know, will just like take out Scorpion tanks on this one shot. He did get an MCV back, so Dutch has an MCV. He might have to go for infantry. That's really his only hope right now. He's going to have to spam out as many infantry as possible, but he's putting his barracks up there, and these units are coming down here. There are hammerheads here, but he should be able to defend with the buggies uh, in this in this respect here. The Juggernauts might just want to go straight for the uh, the MCV, but no, they're actually going to chase here. And look at this, yeah, these buggies are moving around here now. Orchestrate coming in over there. There is that Mammoth Tank, which is turning around, which is not too good. The Mammoth Tank now just does so much damage to these Scorpion Tanks, but of course, he's uh, he's turning and twisting and things like that. And look, he's just killing all these tanks. Like, just, uh, he's probably going to die very shortly, but uh, he just did so much damage. The MCV is sold, and Dutch, I think, I think Dutch might be going down here. I think he might have sold his tech center off here. He did sell it off, so he's just building Predator Tanks and APCs now. He already has the Railgun upgrade. Oh, and my mic today, I tell you what, but this is definitely a good game. Infantry have been spammed out, kind of, sort of spammed, but you can see there's a lot of APCs here, and I wouldn't, I'd imagine the Hammerheads will probably be joining the party very shortly. That one Mammoth Tank is still alive, and Dutch is fighting right down to the end, but no, he's losing all his power plants, and Dutch is just going to have no buildings left very short. The Hammerheads don't even care about the units, they're just going to kill everything that's here. And Unleash UA has run away with this game, and he will be taking a victory. Uh, he has sent this replay to me, uh, of course, uh, via Skype, so you won't find it on the replay system. Uh, but yeah, that was a pretty intense game. Uh, that was that was interesting opening, very interesting opening, and then I got into some really intense fights there. A lot of shooting, a lot of killing. 18-minute uh, game, or 17 minute 40 seconds. Uh, but that was very well done by both players there. I mean, Dutch's first infantry attack, I don't know why he attacked with just half of his infantry. He obviously didn't realize they were split up. If he had all of his infantry there, he could have broken Unleash. He could have either won the game or set Unleash back a lot further than what he did. But Unleash, you got to hand it to him. He kept the aggression even with low eco, and it just allowed him to continually recover. And those double engineer APCs, he got the MCV and he got the refinery. That was a turning point as well. I mean, Dutch was still in a pretty good, not an awesome position, but still a, a nice position. And then that really just turned, that just completely shifted the uh, uh, the phase of the game there. So 128,000 to Dutch, 120,000, or 121,000 to, to unleash. So about seven grand in it, really insignificant. If we check out the resource graph, Dutch was always ahead like expect as expected. But of course, um, if we go to the unit graph, we can see that they're unleashed, just killing all those infantry. Very cost effectively, Dutch might have wanted to micro a bit more. And I thought he would have kept the infantry up, maybe go into tier three, get the redemption upgrade. So powerful. 
So powerful indeed. But that was a very good game by both these players. Uh, I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to my channel. I've got special edition VOD coming up for you. Uh, stay tuned. More videos coming up from my channel.